Hey guys, today I'm going to swatch the Chan Glaze All That Glitters Christmas Minis collection. There are two different types of minis, I think, but this one is the basically the glitters one. Um, kindly, Amelia from Amelia Loves Beauty got this for me for Christmas with um, some other little bits and pieces, but yeah. Um, I'm just going to go straight into swatching them. I don't know the price, but I think it's around £10 from Sally's, or you can get them on Amazon. No, actually, you can't get them on Amazon. You can just get them in Sally's, I think, because I tried to get them on Amazon before and you couldn't get them. But anyway, um, this is just going to be a swatch video. I'm swatching them over Sally Hansen Double Duty, um, just my base coat that I'm using at the moment. However, it has let my nails stain from my previous polish, so my nails are a little bit looking worse for wear, but uh, it, it shouldn't affect the polish. So first up, I'm going to be swatching Pure Joy, which is a red glitter, fine red glitter with silver, no, sorry, gold, um, larger glitter chunks in it. I think it has a clear base too. So as I said, I do apologise, my nails are a little bit stained and there's a little bit of glitter left on them from, I had Butter London, lovely job on, but let's get straight into swatching. So I imagine this to be quite an opaque glitter, but actually it's looking to be quite sheer, which is kind of annoying. But I suppose you could put it over another polish. So that's one coat of Pure Joy. Next up we have Glitter, glitter All The Way, which is a multi-coloured, multi-sized glitter. Um, and all I really like about these China Glaze Minis is, although they, they are bigger, they're 9mm rather than the OPI 3.75, and also they have the names on the bottom, which is really handy as well. So really, really good minis, I think, compared to the OPI ones anyway. They kind of show them up. I just wish they did the minis from every collection, not just the Christmas ones. So I'm going to do one coat of glitter all the way. This is actually a really different polish. It's not necessarily got the kind of every... It's not got like the normal sort of glitter colours that you'd, you'd find in a glitter polish. It's kind of different, I suppose, the colours. It's got green, purple, red and yellow, or I think they're yellowy gold ones. It's kind of very hard to apply, I think. Once you go back over there an area, it kind of removes the glitter as you just saw so yep that's one coat of glitter all the way next up we have champagne kisses which um it's a bit of a funny color i think it's showing up more pink on camera but it's kind of a rose goldy color i would say but it looks looking more gold now than it is on camera it's showing up more pink um i had a bit of a debate last night with amelia we were trying to figure out if this one is gold or silver or pink and in the bottle, it definitely looks kind of like a rose gold colour. Um, but in different lights, it looks like different colours. And now it's in applying it, it definitely looks like a champagne-y colour, but it's weird. It kind of... It looks like so many different colours in one. But I'm thinking it kind of looks a bit rose goldy on the nail right now. And last, but not by any means least, we have Angel Wings, which... I thought it was silver, but it turns out it's a gold. It's kind of holographic gold as well, which is really pretty. This is the one that we thought was kind of silver at first, and actually it's turned out to be the one that's really gold. So the colours are really, I don't know. I was looking at them under my bedroom light, which is not the best lighting in the world, but still, I mean, those two together, I thought that one was silver and that one was gold, but they've turned out completely different now. So that's all of them swatched with one coat, and I'll just let them dry and then apply a second coat. So I have zoomed in a lot closer this time, so I just wanted to show you, kind of, they look a bit uneven. I don't, like, the finish of it's quite rough, and also I just thought it was kind of easier to show you the application if it was a bit closer. So I'm going to take a second coat of... Pure joy. It's really annoying me that it's not going on very neatly. But yeah, it's really nice. Two coats of pure joy. 
Now we're back to glitter all the way. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about these polishes when I just did Pure Joy is that they are actually very quick at drying for a glitter polish. I suppose most glitters dry quick anyway, but this is quite quick, I would say. Um, I don't really know. If it, I haven't used any drying drops on them. I've just managed to do all of the nails and then I came back to the first one and it was completely dry. So, it's quite good. And again, this one doesn't want to go over the end of my nail, so it's a bit irritating, I suppose. So that's two coats of glitter all the way. This one has a much less rough surface, I would say. And finally, we're back to angel wings again. So yeah, both of these two I reckon you could get away with two coats, and probably all of them, having said that, you could probably get away with them all with two coats, but I just think that really this one is definitely my favourite, which is Champagne Kisses, sorry I forget the names. So that's all of them with two coats. The actual polish base that they're in, I think, dries fairly matte. I mean, it's not like a glitter, like it's not like a shiny base, really. It's quite. I've just smudged that. Oh, that's clever. Um, it's quite a rough finish on all of them, but I would definitely say that Pure Joy has the roughest finish. Like these ones, they look like they're going to be really rough, but they're not actually that rough, which is quite good. But I'll see what they look like with top coat on and get back to you. So I've just applied one layer of Double Duty by Sally Hansen as my top coat. Um, it's not the best top coat, I must admit. I just used it because it's the only one I have with me at the moment. And you can't really tell much of a difference, I wouldn't say. Um, they still kind of look quite grainy. This one looks uh, quite a bit more, I would say, it feels slightly smoother and stuff. This uh, Pure Joy looks quite nice, but other than that I would say they still kind of look, quite. these two look quite grainy still, so I don't know. I don't really want to use my sesh feet over them because I know I'm not going to be wearing them for much longer. I'm going to literally take it off and then repaint my nails with my favourite one, which probably will be this one here, or I might do my nails for New Year's Eve. Not sure yet. But yeah, so that's all I've really got to say about the application of them. The brushes are exactly the same as normal China Glaze brushes, so you can't complain. It's not like with the API Minis, the brushes are horrible. Um, packaging, I love the packaging. It's completely, I just think it's gorgeous. I would keep them like that. And I love the fact that the bottles are literally just proper China Glaze bottles, just in a smaller, you know, they're just exactly the same, they're just a bit smaller, which is quite cool. Um, I'm just going to show you a comparison of the size of the bottles between the minis and the full size ones, just for reference, if you've never seen a mini before. This is a comparison between the two of them. This one is Electro... Electric Beat from the Electro Pop collection. I always find that hard to say. And um, the full size China Glazes are 14mm and these are 9.6mm as the minis, so they are pretty much you know, they're a decent size, you're not going to use them up straight away, um, all of the writing is pretty much exactly the same on them, just shrunk down, the lids, they've both got the China Glaze logo, the handles are just, you know, they're slightly smaller, but it's all in proportion to the bottle. I just think they're brilliant, I would buy every single China Glaze co uh, collection if they did the minis with them, I think they're absolutely, I mean, why don't they make more brands do these minis as good as China Glaze have done theirs, I mean, the OPI ones, they're really good, but I'm scared I'm going to use them up. But I mean, I do use them, and um, I haven't used them up, but I am just scared I'm going to use them up because they are so mini. Like, they're 3.75mm, I think, and these ones are 96 So these are bigger than, if you're in the UK, these are bigger than 
collection, 2000 or collection polishes. I think they're bigger than 17 polishes. I mean, they're fairly good size. You know, you wouldn't be worried about using them up quickly. So, yeah, that's all I've got to say about these. I think they're absolutely fabulous. I think if they did, as I've said many times before, probably in this video, if they did every collection as minis, I'd buy every single mini set because I think they're just genius idea. Um, colours in this, I really love get them all there. I think it's a nice colour selection. I think that probably if you did use Sesh on them, they would be a lot nicer and a lot more smooth and glassy, but I didn't really want to use it. So yeah, that's all I've got to say for this video. I'm so pleased with these. Amelia, thank you so much. And thank your mommy too, because I just, I can't get over how great these polishes are swatched again they're there um if you want to know any more information about these i will leave a link if i can find it on the sally's website in the down box where you can get them from i will answer any of your questions about these and yeah as always thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe because it means a lot to me when you subscribe and the more subscribers i get the more i feel like i have to make videos so thank you so much for watching i hope you all had a brilliant christmas and a, you all have a happy new year so I'll see you next time guys, bye!